Hey guys! Okay, so today I'm going to talk about what you should buy from Con and what you should avoid. So, just like a little disclaimer, I haven't been to very many cons. The only convention I've ever been to was Anime Boston. Um, I've been going there, I think, since 2015. As one of my items since 2015, I'm just assuming, but I think it's been like three or four years. So, or this year is going to be the fourth year. Uh, the first time I went, I did not cosplay. I just went norm, like, I don't know, civilian style. I'm, I'm not sure, but you know, I just wore normal clothing. Um, I went for one day. It was pretty epic, and I was like, next year I'm going to cosplay, and I did. Um, and then since then, I have cosplay for all the days. And twice I have stayed in a hotel. So I have tons of video ideas that I, I'm going to get to at some point about, you know, hotels and other things. But today I'm just going to focus on um, the vendors, you know, like in the artist exhibit and, um, or artist hall, I can't remember what it's called right this second. Um, and just like, you know, in general, just the typical vendors. Um, I'm not going to talk about food today, and I'm not going to talk about, um, as I said, I've only been to Anime Boston, so I don't know if they do this everywhere, but I'm not going to talk about, um, where, like, you know, people trade their items. Because, I mean, I, I do have some great things to tell you and some horrible things to tell you, too, but today we are just going to focus on how I spent my money, <laughs> basically. So, um, my first video I ever posted for my channel was kind of like a haul video from Anime Boston 2016, yes. So, um, some of these items I'm going to show you, definitely, definitely, you have seen them before if you have watched that first video. Hopefully today's quality is a little bit better than that first video because this is a camcorder and not a webcam. Um, also hopefully... This week's editing will be better than last week's. I am still using Windows Movie Maker because I am cheap. <laughs> when it comes to all this stuff. Um, okay, so. First things first. So. I know that, because I just paid for my pass. I should have paid it earlier on. So, right now the, the Anime Boston Pass, I think today is January 26th is about $70 for an adult, as I am 24 years old, so I can't as an adult. Um, so, obviously my first tip right there is just, you know, buy the pass early on. So, yes, it's already going to cost you a lot to be going to the con, and also if you are, tr um, whether you're staying at a hotel, or if you are taking the train, or, you know, whatever you're doing, if you go every single day, you know, you're going to be spending some money. So there are some definitely, sorry, definitely, like, what I consider too good to pass up items. But then, again, like I said, I'm pretty cheap, and, you know, like, I also really like a bargain. I also might just have a little bit tiny, a little bit of a shopping obsession. <laughs> just a little bit um, and so I noticed this the first few years that I went to anime Boston is that they have like so much manga and yes like it's great that you can get like fantastic deals on you know you buy like two mangas and you get 10% off the cover price and those are great and I definitely include those too like I don't buy my books at Barnes and Nobles unless like I buy them online or I use Ebates or whatever. Not the point. But when you go to the con, you can get, like, just a ton, ton of your favorite books. You know, your favorite manga. Um, you can even get, like, artist books as well. Comic books sometimes, too. Like, all just an assortment of things. So you can get, like, I think it's, like, two books for 10% off or something like that. I mean, basically, it just encourages you to buy more books. So, I always end up buying a ton of books. And if I were to show you guys how much manga I have bought from Anime Boston, it would just take too long. But, I think one of the things, and this is kind of also a do and also a don't, because it really depends on how much space you have and how much money you brought and how much just frivolous spending you're going to be doing. But, I like how um, when you go to Anime Boston and stuff, or I guess anywhere, 
you get these like discount books. So for instance, on this one, and this is the second one, I do have the first one, but I think I have it like in my, somewhere else in my other stash. I have way too many books right now. <laughs> too much to fit on my shelves. I'm not complaining though. But, so like, this was definitely a great find, and you can find like, I think like they, not updated um, Fruits Basket, but like they kind of reprinted it. So I think when you find the older Fruits Basket, like you can find them there for like a couple dollars. So it's great. And um, yeah, I guess I don't really know what I'm saying about that. Um, sorry. Yes, so you can get books for like super duper cheap. You know, you can get them for like a buck, a couple dollars, five dollars. Um, sometimes I do like bundle deals too. Like you get the first or you get the entire series for like 20% off, which is crazy and awesome. Um, I mean, of course, you're like spending a lot, and I feel like the majority of my purchases are always manga. Always manga. But the don't here is that sometimes you end up with, you know, like, I found this, and it does actually look like a decent read, but it's number six, and I don't happen to have number one through five, you know? And I think this was one, this one was only a dollar, and like, I think this was my first year, or maybe my second year. This could have been in my last year's no the year before but like back then I was just like oh well it's such a great price it's like too good to pass up no I really shouldn't have done that um I mean at some point like I will love to read this I just don't have the first five so it's just kind of sitting there taking up space right now um so kind of a don't but and I've also seen, like, people who bring, like, Excel sheets of what they have in their collection, which is a pretty, like, cool idea if you have time to do all that, you know, set everything up. I think I have over 200 books at the moment. Um, I used to do, like, manga challenges on Instagram, so I haven't kept up with that, though. But, yeah, so there's just a... You know, it's it's a good deal, but it really depends, and you could be spending all your money on it, and <laughs> yes. Okay, I love plushies. Now, I think this guy, this cute little Pikachu, which was in my first video, um, I believe he cost me 30 or $40. I kind of, like decided like kind of just justified it in my head by saying well first of all I considered it like a birthday gift to myself because Anime Boston actually sometimes falls on my birthday I'm in Aries so the end of March is good time for the con because my parents give me money to go to the con it's awesome basically just let me buy my own birthday gift I like it so I kind of justified it as that way also just how freaking adorable that is. Him and his little apple. I think it's an apple. Like, at first I thought it was tomato. Because I kept seeing, like, you know, these, like, little memes of him with his ketchup and things like that. But it might just be an apple. But still, it is freaking adorable. I love Pikachu. <laughs> so, how could I say no to this? Um, so, I guess what I would say about this is, you know, there are... Certain things that, you know, you can kind of justify, I suppose. Like, another reason I chose this Pikachu was I've been looking for Pikachu plushies. Like, at some point, if you guys want to see this, I have, like, a massive collection of Pokemon stuff. Okay, maybe not massive, but Pikachu is actually my favorite Pokemon, which I feel like kind of seems like one of those, like, generic things. I also like Togepi and Charmander. And I just, like the first generation well that's right not the first generation but um I don't know like they're baby forms I guess it's kind of like you know like seeing a kitten or a puppy 
I don't know, I just, I'm like, they're so cute. And then, I know, okay, I know Pikachu technically is not the baby form Pika is, or Pichu is, um, but, I don't know, he's just so cute and he's always there and, yes, I could go on and on about that. But, so, anytime I see a cute Pikachu plushie, I kind of really want it, so I justified it. Also, this thing feels so soft. I mean, really, he just kind of, like, sits by my bed, and he doesn't really get things. Like, he doesn't really do anything except sit there. Sometimes the cats will treat him like a punching bag. So, <laughs> that's something. But, yeah, he just kind of sits there, and he's cute, and I love plushies. So, that's how I justified it. So, I suppose, like, if you've been looking for something, or if you have a collection of something, you can justify spending a big amount. Maybe this is just a video about justifications. About why, you know, you buy these things. <laughs> Somebody asks you why. Okay, so let's do another plushie. Okay, so I bought this guy last year. So this is Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. And as some of you know, I'm doing Kiki Sunday on April 1st, I think, during Anime Boston 2018. So that's actually how I justified it. Plus there's a Gigi behind me too. That's from Hot Topic. Um, but so that was my first justification. This is my big purchase I did last year. The Pikachu was the year before. So, yes. I bought Gigi last year thinking, well, I'm going to do Kiki. So this is kind of the main reason I did Kiki. I keep kind of like re-deciding if I should do Kiki. And then I'm like, maybe not. Maybe I'm too old to do Kiki. But screw it. I am going to be Kiki this year. <laughs> it's happening. I want a happy character. So, yes. So, I bought Gigi. He's also very soft, and um, he still has his tag on, like all his official things there. So, it's on the Japanese. So, I think he was 40 or $50. Now, he's not that big, okay? Like, just to give you like a reference, I have child-sized hands. Like, I wear child gloves. So, he's probably like maybe two hands tall or something. He's not very tall. He's pretty thin, too. But, oh, he's so soft. <laughs> so, I justified it. So, I guess, like, if you know your cosplay and you want to buy something for the cosplay, sometimes you can get it cheaper at the con instead of, like, going through a third party, like Amazon. Um... So, I mean, I justified it that way. Okay, so this is another plushie. Not as soft. But, so I have never seen this Sailor Moon plushie before. So this is... So this is Udeal. I'm, I'm pretty sure I will correct myself if I'm wrong. But she's from the Death Busters arc, so like kind of like the third season, you know, where Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus came in. Um, and she was only $12, which is not bad. And she seems to be an official, yeah, toy animation, so she's an official plush. But I have never seen, you know, the villains before in the plush. Like, as you can kind of see, I have Tuxedo come in and Sailor Jupiter behind me. Um, I got them s separately from different things. So, yes. So, I mean, I'm just like, I saw her and I was like, gotta have. I don't have that in my collection. I've never even seen her anywhere before. I think she was also the only one that the guy was selling. He was also selling her on a discount, too. Like $12, because I think most of the plushies were $18 that were like the standard size including like the fairy tale ones because you know like they have like fairy tale ones and Sailor Moon ones and Naruto and things like that. So but I have never seen this Udeal one. So I'm just like 
this is pretty cool and I really love her costume too so I'm pretty damn happy with this <laughs> so I mean I feel like when you find something too that you've never seen before and it's also like a fairly good price like $12 that's not that's not too shabby you know it's tiny it's not gonna take up a lot of space if you're like you know carrying things home depending on where it came from so I justify it <laughs> okay I think that's it for plushies okay so another thing that I got from the con and I think this is from I don't think this is from this past year I think it was from the year before there's different things in here um, so this is from the artist alley so this kind of some of these items kind of have to do already with like the cosplay aspect because whenever there's a cosplay I want to do I like to start planning like a year in advance I I start ASAP you know and so technically I haven't done any of these cosplays that these would go with and I'll show you in a second what they are um, but they were just such a good deal too like I'll explain it so I think it was Sunday when I bought these which if any con goer knows they typically reduce some of their prices on things especially like in the artist alley because they want to get rid of the products so they can take home less stuff and you know it's just easier transporting things home and also you know at least they still make money off of the items so the first thing I have in here is this Sailor Saturn choker as you can see so it doesn't exactly like have like that like big crystal that she has on her throat but you know it's still very cute it's very well made too like you look at the closure and the closure is like actually quite really like really nice because I've, I've made chokers before I've made two chokers I made one for Sailor Neptune and I actually used to sell that on Etsy um, and I made one for Sailor Mars and that got lost through the photo shoot so <laughs> there's that but um, yeah so like I I know the chokers aren't very difficult to make but I think this was only nine dollars and I was like I think it was like 50% off or something and I was like this is this is quite a deal and I don't know I think like that year I just didn't see very many like Sailor Moon based items and I'm a big moony if you can't tell so I needed to buy it so I did <laughs> so another thing that I have are these little rose studs and I don't know if you guys can see but they're kind of like a little shiny like a little bit of glitter on them so these are obviously meant to be kind of you know Michael Chan's like um, her rose earrings so I think I did wear these once for like kind of like a little closet cosplay thing I did as Sailor Jupiter or just Michael Chan but they're very cute and they're glittery so they might not have just been for Michael Ma Chan but I think like that's just the reason I bought them because, like I said, Cinnamon Mooney, crazy. Um, and then the last item, which actually was not from this seller, just from another seller, and I can't remember at the moment where this one was from. I don't think this was Artist Alley. I think this was a vendor, I believe. And I did show this before. This was in my first video as well. So... It's like kind of got like this like rainbowish, which is actually literally the only reason I bought it. Um, I love hearts and I love like rainbows, so <laughs> legit the only reason I bought it. So I suppose like this is kind of started turning into less like what to buy and what not to buy, more just like this is what I like, and this is what I buy. But, you know, I'm gonna try and put some tips throughout here. This is just what I buy, and like I said, these cons are normally around my birthday. So I kinda justify it just like that, and be like, oh, well, it's for my birthday, and who knows best what to buy me. 
but me, I know what to buy me. <laughs> so that's typically like what I do. Um, okay. Now this one is a really good one. So, okay, so the vendor that I bought that GG plush from, I also bought like a whole bunch of like tension wands and um, what is it like the communication watches and stuff. So I got those and so like, see like this, I got them because they were $10, which okay, maybe seems like pretty expensive for something that's like what, like it's quite tiny, you know what I mean? And it does, it does have like a little bit of like a lipstick or chapstick in it, as you can see, but it doesn't go up that high. Um, so $10 seems like a lot. But as somebody who, like, scours, like, Amazon and eBay all the time looking for good deals on things, I know that typically these sell for $20. So I automatically just thought in my head, because I also sell things on eBay and Amazon, that if I bought, like, maybe five of these, I could actually resell them and make some money for next year. So I bought some for myself because you gotta test out the product. Also, I'm doing the Matura uh, cosplay also this year, so like a Friday, I'm doing her in her school uniform. So like obviously I need it, right? Justification again. And it was a fantastic price. $10 is actually not too bad. I spent $50 on it, you know, plus the GG. Um, but yeah, so if you see something that is like a very good price get it especially if it's going to you know work with the cosplay you have or it's a really cool collector's item you know whatever makes you happy that's basically what it is like that's my entire thing okay so i definitely know that this item as much as i absolutely love it and you guys have seen this item so many times <laughs> it's my rock star wig still have that and it's in its bag right now so this is the wig that is on my profile picture currently and it is also or my channel picture currently it is also the wig that I used to replace my Urza Scarlet but then I found my Urza Scarlet wig <laughs> um it's going to be my Ariel wig from Little Mermaid now I love this wig I don't regret buying it I mean, it's it's a fabulous wig. Compared to everything else I have, like, it makes sense why it's $60. Um, and it was, like, my biggest purchase I bought the first year. Oh, I love this wig. But I do regret spending $60 on it. Like I said, I, I am cheap sometimes, and I'm a bargain hunter. And so, you know... I didn't realize, because it was my first year, that they really jack up the prices. They really want you to spend a lot more money. Hold on one second, somebody wants to come in. I got you. Okay. So anyways, that is my tips for today. Um, I asked you guys on Facebook today, which is, I'll either ask on Facebook or Patreon about what you guys wanted to see. You said you wanted to see a vlog. This isn't exactly a vlog, but believe me, my life is not that very interesting. I just figured if I just talk to the camera, it's kind of like a vlog. But yeah, if you guys want to, you know, let me know what you want to see. I have a ton of video ideas. I definitely have a lot of ideas for like the upcoming cons and don't worry this year I will be doing a post haul or post con haul so you guys can look forward to that um, I am trying to upload and film once a week but I am back in college um, finishing up my last semester as some of you guys know I will be doing my best so 
I hope you guys can be patient with me. Please let me know, of course, if there is anything you would love to see. Um, see what else. I'm going to put all my links down below. So I have my cosplay links. And then I also have my nutrition links because I'm a dietetic student. Just in case you guys didn't know. Um, let's see what else. You can follow my second Instagram account too, which is Richie93. If you want to see some cute cat photos, just in case you came here just for the cats. And with that, see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye! Hi everyone, it's Rachel. So I'm just letting you know that this video was like super long. There was much more stuff that I meant to add in. So there's another video that will be coming out shortly. Thank you guys. Bye!